Hey everybody, it's Mark, and I am super excited uh, to talk with you today, and this is going to be a little bit of talking, a little bit of playing. I'm not actually going to be playing a full song for you, but I'm super excited because this is it. Uh, this is my Lorraine 29 uh, double strung, so 29 strings on each side, 58 strings all together, and I am a double strung fanatic. Uh, ever since I had a chance to get my hands on my first double strung harp, I was hooked. Um, I love single strung, I love it, um, but I am in love with double strung harps, and this is kind of the direction that I'm, that I'm going with my harp playing. Um, many of you contributed uh, financially to me being able to purchase this harp, and I am beyond grateful. Whether you're a monthly Patreon supporter, whether you, um, and some of you donated directly outside of Patreon, just, with, I mean, I was blown away by the generosity of people um, so that I could purchase this harp. A big shout out to Carolyn Deal, who orchestrated this pur purchase and put me in contact and let me know about this. Uh, I was actually waiting for a brand new Lorraine to be built um, with fewer levers because it was within my price range. Um, and then this harp became available. Uh, it was, it's only two months old. And I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to a dear lady by the name of Jenny, who I purchased this harp from. I will forever be indebted to Jenny. And Jenny, if you watch this video, please know that this harp is going to be used to encourage, uplift, and inspire many, many people down through the years, both on YouTube, Facebook, and in person. So thank you, Jenny. Your generosity and your uh, compassion in allowing me to purchase this harp is going to make a difference in people's lives. So uh, fully levered, Kamek levers on both sides, which is awesome. Um, I was only gonna be getting Loveland levers and here we are with, with, uh, with a full set of Kamek levers on each side, uh, made in walnut, which I love the tone that comes from this harp uh, in walnut. I've already actually broken a string. I came in uh, this morning, I'm in our auditorium here at the church because it's temperature controlled. Um, and the, the lowest C string on the right hand side, just it just snapped. And I don't know why, it snapped up above. This is a wound string, nylon wound, and it snapped up above. Um, I don't know if it was a change in atmosphere between Pennsylvania and Maine, not likely. Most likely just, uh, just a, a nick or weak spot in the vinyl, uh, in the nylon wire and just with the tension, it finally broke. So I'm trying to get this, um, this new C string that I put on today uh, to finish stretching out. Thankfully, because it's in the right hand, I don't often reach down to that C, especially since right now I'm actually tuned in the key of E flat. It's kind of interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And I'm sorry that the light keeps going in and out. We have a lot of clouds passing here today. And every time a cloud passes over, it changes the light on my phone. I don't know why. Um, anyhow, um, I, I looked up on um, online and actually several people had, had recommended that when you have a, a, a full set of levers like this, that you tune your harp to the key of E flat. I'm not convinced that I'm gonna leave my harp tuned in E flat. What that means is with all my levers down, my A, E, and B strings are tuned down to A flat, E flat, and B flat, so, oops, so that when I put the levers up, then I'm in the key of C. So all levers down, I mean focus problems and everything, all the levers down um, means I am in the key of E flat. And if I wanna play in C, then I have uh, the E, A, and B levers that have to be put up to be in the key of C. Um, what I may end up doing is just retuning my harp to the key of C and leaving the B levers tuned down to B flat and then just playing with them up in the key of C. Then I can play in C, D, G, and F very, very easily because all I have to do is put the B levers down and I'll have my B flat to play in F. Um, I'm not sure how often I'll play in E flat. So why did I tune it to E flat to begin with? Well, to begin with, is because I'm, go I'm getting ready to play with our church orchestra. We have a small orchestra, and we're gonna be playing the song, Be Thou My Vision. And because we're using orchestration, I'm actually playing off the sheet music that the piano is using. And the piano is playing in the key of E flat. So I'm gonna be playing in the same key, the key of E flat. Um, and so I, I tuned my harp to the key of E flat, and I have to tell you, I, while I don't know that I'll keep it E-flat after this uh, orchestration piece that I'm playing, I really do think E-flat sounds beautiful on this 29-strung harp. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I think it does. And that's because you, you end up playing um, right in the middle of the harp, in that golden spot. So if I'm playing this E-flat chord, 
it just sounds beautiful. It just has a beautiful sound. Of course, the double strung sounds beautiful anyway. Um, but I, I wondered if you uh, ever stringed your harp into, uh, into E flat. If you do, let me know and let me know what you think the benefits versus the negatives. Some of the negatives that I have found is when it's tuned in E flat and I, and I put the levers up to play in C, the strings, don't, the strings of my E, A, and B levers don't seem to ring as full as they do when all the levers are disengaged. Um, I don't know why that should be, but it, it is. And so it's not a big difference and it still sounds very nice. And obviously if you use any levers at all, you're gonna have that, that issue. But uh, because I don't know how often I'll play in E flat, I'm not sure if I'll leave it in E flat. There is a tremendous um, uh, the a musical theory benefit to, to tuning your harp in E flat. And I would encourage you to read that article on the uh, Reese harp page and maybe I'll link to it to the, in this video. Maybe I won't, but hey, thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for your uh, financial and your verbal support. Your verbal support is beyond measure one of the things I treasure the most. Thank you for helping me to be able to purchase what Carolyn Deal aptly calls the Queen of Harps. I think she's right. It's a beautiful harp and I look forward to bringing you a lot of great music and great content going forward. Until that time, I just want to say thank you and I want to uh, let you know that be, be on the lookout because as my back is now healing and I, and I have these harps, uh, I'm, I'm excited to be uh, producing some content. I remain committed to continue to write, and use, write music for and use my 22 string double strung harp as well as some single strung harp music. And uh, so if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please click on it now. Uh, click subscribe, hit the notification button. And if you're interested, uh, check out my Patreon page. Um, the majority, probably 99% of the sheet music that, is, that I, that I uh, post or that I write is available absolutely free on my Patreon page with very few exceptions. Um, and if you're, but if you begin supporting me at a dollar a month, you'll have early access to that sheet music as well as some other uh, special things. If you join me and support me uh, uh, on my in my circle level on Patreon, once a month I share a special video where we chat, talk about some things, um, and share some of my um, uh, uh, explorations. And uh, I'm trying to think of the think of the right word. Um, the, the, my um, hang on a second. Um, what is that word? I hate when that happens, right? Ugh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Can you see it? Um, um, discoveries. That's what I'm talking about. My discoveries on the harp, as well as sharing with you some of the ins and outs of finding places to play, uh, volunteering at hospitals and nursing homes, and sharing some of that with you um, in extra special content that is only for those in my circle. But the music is free. The sheet music is free. And it is my way of giving back. It's part of the way I do what I do. Thank you for giving. Thank you for sharing with me. Thank you for being uh, on my team, in my corner. And I support you. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day, everybody.